Hello, this is Fisher Fan, and here we are with another build video for the Filling Up a Luna series. This is gonna be a sweet a wrap around porch. doing this wraparound porch at the moment uh, I really like the idea of this so that's why we're doing it I hope it works out I think in the end the end result is quite nice This is a very beach inspired house, I think. But this whole island is very beach inspired, if you ask me. We're doing this house, it's gonna be two levels, but this has this roof. I don't know where I got this idea for this roof, but it's a re recurring theme on this island. But yeah, if you are subscribed to my channel and you watch my videos weekly, th there has to be somebody out there that does. You probably saw some weird videos being uploaded. Well, weird. It's not not something that I usually do. Not not s something I do weekly, like these videos that I do do weekly. Uh, I went to see a concert. Yes, that's one of my favorite things to do. And uh, I always take my camera with me when I see a concert which is what I did this time and I got to see the same artist twice I don't know what I'm on about but I went to see Harry Styles live twice uh, for me that was uh, two weeks ago by the time you see this is, might be three weeks ago and uh, yeah, I had fun. I sure did. Uh, I went to see Harry Styles on uh, Wednesday in Amsterdam. I have seen a lot of concerts in Amsterdam. And uh, so far I've had a good time there. And this Wednesday, apart from it being maybe a bit busy, uh, it uh, was quite okay. I was a bit nervous as they had new, um, new, what would you call that, new rules uh, for getting in and tickets and I don't really know new policies that's probably what I was uh, wondering about the word uh, they said that we had to buy tickets on our name which meant that at the entrance they would check if your name corresponded with the name on the ticket which I was quite worried about just because it was something new and I don't really like new stuff that much so yeah, we uh, 
I went in, they did check my bag, <coughs> uh, and they did check my camera, but they didn't check the name on the ticket, which is just great, just great. So yeah, that that's uh, if they keep telling us that they're gonna do that and they not are gonna do that, then I don't really think they should be bothering tell telling us that they are gonna check that and then that they don't. That just doesn't really make any sense. <coughs> But yeah, the concert was great. The only real problem was getting out of the garage afterwards. That was all, I think. And I had a lot of fun. It was a very good concert. At that Harry Styles dude is so good live. It's almost unbelievable how good he is. So yeah, I had a great time. I enjoyed it a lot. And then on Friday I went to see it again. Yes, but this time in Antwerp. As I happen to have a friend that lives near Antwerp. So that's how I got to see it again. And I was glad I did because it just was even better. Just the sound was not that good. But that is probably not something that Harry could have done anything about, I think. But yeah, I might. I could give some tips on concerts, as I have been to a few by now. My main tip is uh, bring a bottle of water. If I had to survive a whole concert without water, I think I would faint. And that's not pretty. Don't nobody wants you to faint. But there is this other thing. They won't allow you to bring a bottle of water in. There's a trick. A trick, yes. Uh, that will that will make them allow you to take it in. You have to take the the cap off. That's the trick. But then you also are standing there with your bottle of water open and that's not really handy at all because you're gonna have one hand full so the the, the sneaky trick is to uh, to do that to get yourself an extra cap and put that cap in your I would put it in my wallet I don't think they have ever checked my wallet. I hope that nobody that's that's about that that handles that is watching this because they might come they might will they might start checking our wallets. <laughs> but yeah, just bring an extra cap and you can screw the the cap back on your wallet and voila, you have a a full uh, bottle of water that you can place down, put back in your bag. What other tricks do I have? Let's see. Uh, it's uh, if you want to bring a camera in, that's also something that could be an asshole, as they don't allow professional cameras. So what you do is you get yourself the closest thing to a professional camera because then you could still take great pictures and great videos uh, I think I might have to uh, this week or so put one of the pictures
pictures I took on my Instagram. That's also Fees and Fan. Yes. All my socials are the same. Because that's just easy. And that's how I roll. I like things easy. Uh, but yeah, then you can see what my camera takes for pictures. And you probably see that it takes quite good pictures. Just uh, nothing bad, it's just quite okay. It's pictures that you can share, that you can use as backgrounds and stuff. And it's just, uh, I think, quite nice. I like it. Uh -huh. So yeah, my camera looks very professional, but the lens won't come off. It just won't stuck to that, to it. So that's uh, that's the reason that they can't take it away from me, as it's not a professional camera, which is handy because I like taking pictures at the concert just to have something to uh, look back at. Uh, on at on yeah to like look back on that's what I was saying um, so the other trick is I nine out of ten times will go to a concert on my own and the trick to that is just so if you have a standing ticket you have to arrive early but if you don't have a standing ticket, just seating, you don't really have to arrive that early because your seat is already yours. That's uh, another trick. You go for a seating ticket if they have that, if you go on your own, because then you will still have your own place to sit and you don't have to worry about getting there on time and standing in the line on your own and what's also a very useful trick is to store some type of food in your purse or wallet or your handbag uh, I will uh, 9 out of 10 times bring a tangerine just cause that's easy what I also really like is uh, raisins, just a small bag of raisins in my, in my purse. I will usually store that somewhere behind another zip so that I will at least be certain that I have that if they take the rest away. And make sure that you eat before you go into the concert. Make sure you drink enough, maybe maybe it's wise to find the bathroom before you go in. I usually really like to go to the bathroom before the concert starts. So I know for certain that I don't have to go during because nobody wants that. Nobody. Not you, not the people that uh, that put the concert on because you want to enjoy the show. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Just make sure that you, you know how you get in there. Make sure that you don't have to rush to your train. When you, I, I've never been to, to a concert by train and I had to take after the concert to get home. I own a car. I just drive my car usually. Because it's just, uh, you don't want to rush or miss half the concert because you have to get home. If that's the case, you probably want to consider another option. Because it's probably, it's also not a, 
bad idea if you just book a hotel room right near your venue that's also a good idea and then you can travel the day after and not worry about not being there on time but yeah that, that was probably all the concert tips that I have what's also very good idea is if you're standing in the line waiting to get in make some friends because it's gonna be very easy because you're there for the same thing and that that's coming from an introvert that doesn't like to social just make friends there and you make friends way easier if you're standing in the line on your own I can promise you that it's, it's gonna be very easy because everybody is there for the same reason I hope look at this house it's all coming together who would have thought that I could do that make a house come together But yeah, I think uh, that was it for the concert tricks. Tricks and tips from uh, Friesen Fan. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought? And uh, I think we now moved on to the downstairs bathroom. But yeah, as soon as I'm done talking about something, I'm done talking. You can definitely tell there's nothing else I want to share with you. I don't really know what we're doing on this this last part. The outside we're doing the outside now. I don't know how I got this these green circular rocks in my game, but I did, and I decided to use them because the, in the end I think it looks kind of neat. Kind of. It almost looks like this. Uh, deck has some green green grass on them that's I think what the aim was for this uh, these circular rocks and we move upstairs upstairs still need some more stuff
this house definitely has a theme. It's a, a red, green and blue. That's something that I think you would see in a lot of houses that at least uh, the master bedroom reflects the rest of the house if the people from the house built the house correctly or decorated correctly because then it would make sense that the theme is at least in these rooms the master bedroom the living room with the kitchen and stuff is the same because that's the people that bought the house so I would it would make sense that those rooms at least uh, are somewhat the same or at least the same thing and then you would maybe if you look at the at the um, kids rooms you would see some difference in there that would also make sense because the kids might add have the opportunity to decorate their own room this kid definitely didn't really or he just really liked uh, um, the theme his parents chose because it's very green and that uh, fits in with the aesthetic of the rest of the house at least if you think it like if you think about it like I thought about it then yeah that, that makes sense and this kid might have had a lot of say in the room maybe but it still really goes with the theme of the rest of the house I think this is almost the end of it. Just changing a uh, work in this room. <laughs> oh, this this might not be if it's a team. Teams usually get a more uh, rebellious room if you you let me build it. And then we have this little study. <laughs> I think that's almost the end of the video. Mm. Just doing this study, it's very, yeah, yeah, well, like a study desk, uh, some uh, bookcases, chair, and I think that's about it. Oh, we have a whole wall of bookcases, I like that. And then the chair in front of it, a little cozy chair. And then maybe something on the wall. Oh, this one we didn't use it downstairs so we might as well use it here trying to fit in a plant and i think that's it for this build uh if you enjoyed this video you can like it you can also subscribe to my channel so you will um see my next video next tuesday and this was reason fan i hope you had a nice day goodbye